Hey, what is up everybody, dude? We got the iPhone SE versus the iPhone 5S, and we're just gonna take a look and see which one you should buy in 2018. Now, if you have the funds, this is going to be an easy answer, but if you're a little fickle with the funds like I am sometimes, then, you know, this video might be helpful. So, comparing the two, I mean, if you're looking at the front, they pretty much have the same exact body, the same screen, the same screen size, the same screen PPI. Literally, they almost have every single thing in common in terms of the way they look. Personally, feeling them in the hand, they feel premium. Both of them do, actually. But like my mama said, never judge a book by its cover. And even though they both have a lot of similarities, there's huge differences in terms of usage. The iPhone SE is a much more powerful device than the iPhone 5S will ever be. The SE has the Apple A9 chip, which isn't even that new, but the iPhone 5S has the A7 chip, which comparing the two in terms of speed, performance, I ran benchmarks, and when they're running iOS 11 on top of that, the SE just blows the 5S out of the water. I just don't think the iPhone 5S is optimized for iOS 11. I think on iOS 10 it wasn't that bad, but now it's not that good. And this is where the SE shines as well in terms of speed wise is RAM. The SE has two gigabytes of RAM where the iPhone 5S only has one gigabyte of RAM. And to some people that might seem like nothing like, oh, there's only one more gig, this and that. But you'll notice it when you're scrolling through apps and multitasking and, you know, using apps in general. You don't want to open up an app, you know, you don't want to open up Tinder and then go into something like HDTV app, right? And then just like have it close on you. You know, you don't, you don't want to go through that. So in everyday use, you know, you'll probably notice the slowdown of the iPhone 5S, honestly. And I feel like like that can personally have an effect on your life. Having a slow phone is not something you want to set yourself up for. The cameras are completely different as well. The iPhone SE is 12 megapixels where the iPhone 5S is 8 megapixels and the iPhone SE can shoot 4K videos where the iPhone 5S taps out at 1080p. Now they do have pretty much the same front camera. Even if you're not in photography, I mean it would still be cool to have the you know option of shooting 4K because 4K is only you know the future and even in terms of battery life you know you would think the iPhone SE you know since it's more powerful Powerful, it would probably, you know, drain battery faster. But the real answer probably is the iPhone SE is optimized, you know, with the Apple A9 chip and with the newer chipset and all that to save more battery. But my personal reasoning is that because the iPhone 5S is older, right? The battery within the iPhone 5S probably has deteriorated a lot because it's older, you know, as batteries age, they start losing their charge and the milliamps and all that stuff. I don't know. So even if you do put a new battery in a 5S, I still feel like the iPhone SE will beat it. But in terms of the deterioration method that I just made up, and I didn't even make it up. I think Albert Einstein made it up or something, but I can't say for sure. Um, since everyone's usage will vary and it'll be different, but battery life, the iPhone SE will be better for sure. Now looking at the future of both these devices, the SE will last you longer, no doubt. The 5S is probably at the end of its life in terms of updates. Now, I'm not sure if it's getting iOS 12 or not. It's probably not by the looks of it, but there are some sources saying that it will be getting iOS 12. We will find out in June, but even then, I mean, if the iPhone 5S is getting iOS 12, I don't know if it's going to be slower or faster because right now it's running at like a two out of 10. If it gets iOS 12, I don't want it to go down to like a one out of 10, you know what I mean? And like, if you're getting the iPhone 5S now, you're pretty much setting yourself up for like, constant problems and i'm sure there's people who are watching this who still have an iphone 5s if you have an iphone 5s already then yeah i mean you can keep it but i mean if you don't have an iphone 5s right now and you're looking to upgrade you should definitely consider the iphone se it's definitely worth the extra money and the price difference between the two isn't even that far off you know the iphone 5s is about 70 dollars give or take a few ten dollars here and there but for a bit more you can get a used iphone se now it will probably cost you like 140 so some people will say like it's twice the price but it's only 70 dollars more and you will get so much more of a phone out of it than you will get out of the iPhone 5s. So between the two, I would 100% definitely recommend getting an iPhone SE. It'll last you much longer and it'll just be a better overall experience than using a iPhone 5s now. I'll leave a link in the description for an iPhone SE, but if you want links to an iPhone 5s or an iPhone SE accessories and stuff, you can always check out flawlessphone.com, which will list the best prices for accessories and phones and devices and all that stuff. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit that like button. If you guys have any questions or disagree with me or agree with me, leave that in the comments section. I read all the comments. If you guys leave some comments about like why my dog's ugly or why my cat's this, then I'm probably never gonna talk to you ever again, but you can leave a comment on anything. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna read it. Hit that subscribe button. We are getting close to 40,000 subscribers. Once we do hit that, then 50,000 subscribers. I'm trying to get to 50,000 by June. I'm trying to get to 100,000 by the end of this year. So we'll just see how it goes. We'll just play it by ear. But more importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys and hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out to them.